And we're back at this one. Uh, you remember this one, it's the Daikin VRV that's got, oh, it's got the faulty suction thermistor. So, is that one down there? Uh, I've isolated these, turned them off. We've got a few turning many tools for this screwdriver. Uh, I've got these just to unplug. And you all know about these flush cut the cable ties. Got a few cable ties in there. I'm hoping I've got the right thermistor, so. There we are, that's our thermistor with the yellow plug, so. That's gonna be that one just there. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get all this, cut the cable ties off all this. Uh, yeah, I'll get that one out and then I'll get that changed. It's not really um, what I wanted to show you in this video, um, but I'll get that changed and then what I'm gonna do, I'm pretty sure you all know how to do about how to do this anyway, or you all know about this, but obviously a lot of VRVs, they're gonna have uh, what's called a refrigerant recovery mode. Daikin certainly do, it's called mode 21, and that's gonna open up all the expansion valves. So um, you'll see there, look, that's an expansion valve and all the solenoids, so you'll see there, that's a solenoid. And it is important to do this if the system has that mode. Um, it's there for a reason, and a lot of people always wonder why why you have to do that you know if you uh if you recover from there there and there and there wherever you want to recover from uh, people wonder why you need to do that so i thought we'd have a look at daikin's reasoning why you need to do that uh, set the computer up so i'm going to show you after i've changed this to mister why you need to put this in recovery mode 21 when you're recovering the refrigerant all right then we've got the old one out so i can go down there cut the cable ties off so i'll uh, get this unpacked and then Put this back on but yeah one thing i would say just make sure you put some cable toil back on there if you are gonna rip it to bits because you end up seeing loads of these with just cables hanging everywhere i mean there's a ton of uh cables in here anyway so i like to just make sure i've at least got a few cable toys back where i've took them off so let's get these put back on anyway <laughs> Back on, shove all this rubbish in the back, and then right then. So, what I wanted to show you was obviously the recovery mode and why you need recovery mode. So, uh, I'm just going to switch these isolators back on and uh, we'll have a look. Right, I've just put this cover back on because it's uh, it's quite bright, so you're probably not going to be able to see. So, if we go in here, hopefully, this camera's going to focus a bit and I can get my fingers in, but. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to get this into recovery mode is hold the mode button or BS1 for about five seconds. So. There you go, so you'll see that number one light is on now, then you're gonna to wanna to press set, so BS2 21 times. One, two, three, four, five. The 21. When you've done that, you need to press BS3 return. Then you're gonna to wanna to press set. And then return. And then return one more time. And you can probably hear, well, you might not be able to hear, but all them solenoids and them expansion valves are now opening up. So, why do we have to do this if you're recovering from all your lines? Why do you need to open up all the expansion valves? Well, 
let me show you right then this is a little snippet from one of the training manuals so why do we need to open up them expansion valves? well you'll see there look you've got they call it on there refrigerant regulator or an accumulator but solenoid valves will also be closed so you'll see there um, solenoid valves expansion valves will be closed with the power off so all them are closed that's closed that's closed that's closed so basically there is no way of getting that refrigerant from within that pipe work or within that regulator or accumulator with the power off so it doesn't matter where you recover from you're never going to get that refrigerant from within this little bit here I think there's also sort of check valve so you know like a one-way valve so the refrigerant will go in um, but it won't come out um, so it'll go in and then there'll be a valve or a solenoid so um, until you open that valve or solenoid there's no way for that refrigerant to come out and you imagine if you recover all this refrigerant without doing this and then you're doing a pressure test and you pump nitrogen in um, if it's a one-way valve it's going to let the nitrogen go in but it's not going to let it come back out again until you open up some of the solenoids or expansion valves so that's why you need to do a reclaim mode or refrigerant recovery mode wherever the say not all manufacturers sort of have this sort of setup but um, if it's there it's probably for that reason there'll be either a one-way valve um, and then the expansion valve or solenoid after it so there'll be a section of pipe work sort of within the outdoor unit that you can't get the refrigerant from unless you open up the valves i mean you see down there look that's an accumulator in this one you've got expansion valves um, various solenoids dotted around so there's a chance that refrigerant's going to sit uh, in that pipe work unless you open it up now let me just have a quick look on here because i can't remember which page it was yeah look you'll see there look failure to conform to the correct procedure will result in the following after reclaiming four to ten kilograms of refrigerant will be trapped within the refrigerant regulator tank resulting in miscalculation of initial refrigerant charge high pressure nitrogen will be able to enter the refrigerant regulator tank resulting in contamination of the trapped refrigerant so there you go i know a lot of you guys probably know this but um, if you didn't if it helps one person then yeah make sure you put that into mode 21 before you're doing any sort of refrigerant recovery um, just to get all that refrigerant out and make sure no nitrogen is going to get trapped in there i suppose the only way you're going to know this is um either by reading the manual or going on a Taking training course or any other manufacturer training course so if you work for a company i do strongly advise that you try and uh, just get as much training out of them as you can get on as many courses as you can because it's a lot to take in but you do you do learn things and that they'll give you the service manual so you've always got something to fall back on but yeah that's why you need recovery mode on a daking vrv oh then <sighs> get this back done up <sighs> i'm gonna call that a day it's a short and sweet video i know but um yeah i just wanted to i just wanted to um go over that because i think i put something on instagram a while ago perhaps it was a video of me uh recovering out, out of a day you know done the mode 21 and then had a few people say yeah they know about the mode 21 but they're wondering why you had to do it um so yeah that was uh that was all i wanted to do that video it's only some stuff that you'll find in a manual anyway it's i've read that straight out of the manual um i'll be honest i didn't know that until i did my first daking course where um obviously they're going to tell you that information so well worth doing these manufacturer courses if you can get yourself on them they do like advanced service courses and stuff and um although you're not going to take it all in you'll, you'll take the important stuff in so uh, yeah, hopefully it helps at least one person or answers that question anyway. So, as always, massive thank you for watching. And if you would be so kind, just to smash the like button if you found it useful. Um, yeah, hit the subscribe button. 
the channel's growing really quick and uh, yeah i'm mega grateful for everybody who likes follows and comments i mean drop a comment below um, is there any other stuff that we can try and um, we can try and shoot a video of that might help somebody out um, help some of the some of the younger techs out um, some of the people that are coming through and that's what it's all about at the end of the day sort of helping people out and trying to improve the the industry so yeah massive thank you and i will catch you guys on the next one